Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do six months from now for Aries. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Now, this reading is kind of like just for fun because, you know, in six months, a lot can change because free will plays a part in your actions, you know, change things. But, but this is what I am picking up on based on what the energy is putting out there today for six months from now for the sign of Aries. We're going to start right here. Now this, this reading may or may not be for you. I'd save it. Save it and come back to it later. Um, yeah. So anyway, uh, what do we have for Aries six months from now? Six months from the date that they watch it. One card. We want to get a couple of these. We're going to start with these. Well, I guess we're going to get four. Four. Aries, six months from now. Are you ready? Nest. Ooh, building a nest. An emotionally secure, loving family is important to you. So something about the home, about the, the family and security. Dog barking. Advice from a friend. So you're going to be receiving some advice for, from a friend. Now keep in mind, this is six months from now. This isn't today. You I mean you could be receiving advice today that is going to affect you six months from now. Okay, and six months from now, something to do with your family, okay? Six months from now, and something to do with the nest, the home, six months from now. Older woman, dealings or relationship with an older woman. So, this isn't no spring chicken. This is an older woman is somebody that, you know, I would say is in their 40s or above. Over the hill, right? Over the hill. So 40 and above. Horseshoe, good luck. So you got something good coming. We got something good coming. Has to do with uh, family security by the looks of things. You're going to be receiving some good advice from a friend. There is a, a woman involved that is older than the age of 40. And you're going to be getting some good luck. Okay. So it looks pretty good by the looks of things there, Aries. I don't know if you can see it. See it. Dealing with an older woman, something good is coming. What do we have for Aries? Some sort of security by the looks of things. What do we have for Aries six months from now? Four of Cups. Now, we know that the Four of Cups is some sort of discontentment, sadness, but that's over like in the past. We're doing this, we're doing this spread right here. You ha it's the end of discontentment, okay? The discontent period that you have been in where you have been feeling lonely or you've been feeling lost and empty is over, okay? Because this goes towards the future, okay? Um, I think, yeah, you've been in a state, perhaps today, that's like sad, okay? Unsure, um, unhappy about a situation, Get the King of Swords here. Happiness is coming. It really is. Beware, though. Beware of your choices. Because, uh, beware of false beginnings. Make sure you're choosing wisely. Okay? Um... Yeah, it looks to me like we have somebody here that is going down a new road of some sort. I mean, this is some sort of path, you know, but choose wisely, choose wisely because it feels like, you know, you could get, you could get, I was going to say something about the current. You don't want to, you don't always want to go along with the current. Um, 
Ten of Swords reverse. Let's keep going. Let's get the rest of these cards. I don't zoom it in. Death, rebirth. So, six months from now, you're going to be going through a rebirth. You may be experiencing an ending right now. Some sort of ending. Some sort of uh, release or transformation. Because death leads to rebirth. Um, and if you think about from winter to summer, it, it's typically, what, like six months. So that makes sense. So you may be going through some sort of uh, ending right now. And in six months from now, you're going to be going through some sort of rebirth. So it's a transformational period over the next six months of healing and rejuvenation or whatever you want to call it. Um, uh, healing, um, renewal, rebirth. Yeah, that's what it is. Um, right around the corner right around the corner so right around say say in six months okay this is six months from now we have the king of swords the king of swords is somebody that is very intelligent very logical very factual very wise very independent very intuitive very uh trustworthy um very honorable see the wise very very wise individual here um but there's some sort of lack of judgment because of the judgment card. Lack of forgiveness. Now this person can be very cold. So we could have somebody here that has grown cold because of some sort of betrayal. Some sort of defeat. Um, you, you Aries, if you are the Aries female especially, you could be dealing with a, a masculine that is cold. This masculine is very factual, very... Um, quiet and reserved very observant right this person observes everything uh, kind of profoundly before they take action um and then when they decide to take action when they've made up their mind they do it they, they once they've made up their mind they take action so i think this person is thinking about something we have a masculine whether it's you if you are the masculine aries or it's the masculine in this reading that is is thinking about something um, he's thinking about speaking up something. He's thinking about doing something. He hasn't done it yet. He's, he's making a plan. He's make this guy is making some sort of plan. Now the 10 of swords reversed is a near death experience or the worst has happened. Could be a relapse of some sort. Something is could also be coming back from the dead, especially with being right next to that judgment card reversed. It's like something could definitely be coming back from the dead. Or there's something has died. And, and there's some sort of rebirth here. Like being born again. Something like that. Um, starting over. Starting fresh is the beginning. Because with the sun and the death and the rebirth and these cards. It feels like we have a new beginning here. It's where you refine your strength to live again. Okay. There's like a revitalization here. It's like you're you're alive and you're free and it, it's great and it's it's beautiful okay so there's some sort of definitely a new beginning so in six months in six months from now it feels like you're going to be strong you're going to have a lot of energy you're going to be shining you're going to be a lot more healthy it feels like you have survived a near-death experience or you have survived something that or you know the worst is over with the ten of swords reversed you've seen it all um and this could be the ten of swords can be survived or not survived okay because it could be the ten of swords reversed somebody may not have survived but this lack of survival is which is the death allows the rebirth okay so there's there's definitely a rebirth we do have a new beginning here there's no doubt about it with the world card the sun card and the death card we have a new beginning and it's a major one one phase of your life has ended and you're about to embark on a new journey a new life okay when you get the world card right here you've accomplished something you're traveling you're moving into a new future this is freedom it's success this is also you've learned a big lesson okay you've completed and now you're beginning a new cycle so in six months from now you are not going to be in this sad state of mind that you have been in you're not going to be in this state of lack you're going to be in a place where you're in it's like this is like a new life okay with the world and the sun right here this is extreme happiness 
Okay, this is like, wow, I can't even believe that I am in this spot. Okay, so in six months from now, you are going to be in a new place where, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a whole new you. It's a whole new world. Okay, you're in a whole new world. Okay, like that song. This is, it's a whole new world. I don't know why that won't focus. It likes to mess with me every step of the way. So there you go. This is a whole new world. It's something to, you know, be happy about. You're going to be in a really, 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 really happy place in six months from now. It's good. You're going to be like saying, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for this blessing. So in, in six months from now, you are going to be happy. Now you think about the four of swords. The four of swords is the death of a person or idea. You got death here. Through death, there is new life. Okay? Uh, you have, you do, you have, definitely have some death here. This is a death card, this is a death card, this is a death card, this is a death card. So it's a transformational time the next six months. It's the death of the old and the beginning of the new. Now, this right here, the Seven of Cups is... Uh, choose wisely. There's consequences. The Seven of Cups is a card of consequences. It's a card of illusion. It's a card of confusion. You are going to be faced with a choice and you are going to have to be careful with your choice. Be careful because what you own owns you. I feel like you are going to be given an opportunity to see things differently, to do things differently, to start a new life, but you need to choose the right path. Make sure that you are not choosing something based on what the, it looks like because that's what this is about. Don't choose it based on looks this time. Choose it based on value, okay? Um, I feel like you're going to be stronger than ever. I feel like um, <sighs> with the Four of Swords reverse, I feel I feel like you've been in a situation that was left that left you feeling dead. It left you feeling empty. It left you feeling alone. And I feel like you were you were comfortable. It was like a you were comfortable there because it was safe, right? Even though even though it it hurt, it was safe. So I think that you were choosing to stay in the safety zone, but now something has happened that has made you so happy. It's, it's almost like it's too good to be true. Um, I think that you were unaware that releasing whatever it was that you were holding on to was going to bring you so much happiness. And maybe it's just releasing your fear because this is release and this is fear. So, and they're mirroring each other. So I, I feel like Aries, you are going to be in a spot where... It's, 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 it's quite good. Okay. It's very, 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 very good. I, I see that, um, I just want to say it's a new life. You're starting a new life. You're going to be very, very, very happy. You're, you're starting a new chapter where you're going to be successful. This could be a, a, a successful new partnership, a successful new relationship, um, it's like you're going to be glowing. You're going to be, your health is going to be improving. You're going to be, it's like you're walking on air. Um, it feels like before you get to this, there's some sort of illness that gets, um, that brings you down, that makes you reach the point of collapse. And this collapse teaches you something. Okay, this collapse, this, this, well, maybe it's a dark night of the soul moment or whatever it is. It's where you, you hit the ground, right? You hit the ground and then, you know, when you wake up, you're a whole new person. Okay, you're, you're not the same person that you were. It's almost like you, and I don't even know, it's like you go into a coma, right? It's like, and I'm not saying you're going to go into a coma and you wake up and it's like, you get the, it's like this epiphany moment. It's like, oh my God, I've been missing out on life this whole time. I've been missing out on this and missing out on that. And now I see, now I see things different, differently. And I'm a whole new person. I, it's a whole new you. In six months from now, you will not be the same person you were six months ago. You're going to be a lot happier. You're going to see things differently. You're going to feel like, uh, 
you're going to be stronger. You're you're going to be a force to be reckoned with, put it that way. You're going to be shining so brightly that people are going to be like, whoa, where did you come from? You know, that kind of thing. Um, who is this King of Swords right here? This is an Aries, uh, not an Aries, an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but it doesn't have to be. This is somebody that is very observant very wise a very wise who's gained and then and an owl is a symbol of death okay so something to do with this wasn't a crow so something has died or is going to die but this brings new life now who is this king of swords this king of swords is a thinker he sees something he's got his eyes on something He's missed something because it looks like he's he was blinded in the past. Something and then we got a, we got like a dragonfly on here. It feels like there's somebody that has passed away. It feels like because I feel death. I, there's something somebody that has possessed a symbol of somebody dragonfly. Somebody that has passed away. So it feels like there's somebody that has passed away that is guiding you in some way. Somebody that's on top. Somebody that is above. Because you notice this person is above. So you may be being watched. Being watched from above. Somebody is watching you from above. Hmm. I think that you're going to need to be brave. Okay. Be fearless. Have confidence. And have courage. Have courage to... Uh, make some sort of choice. Because this is a choice right here. A choice to move on. A choice to start over. A choice to begin again. So I think you're going to be presented with a choice, obviously. You are going to be, this is your choice, okay? Choose wisely. You're going to be, in six months from now, you're going to be presented with a choice. And it's going to be a big one, okay? It's going to be a big choice. Which, which, which one is, is going to be the best option for you? So you're going to be presented with a choice. This choice, I mean, you're probably going to feel a little bit vulnerable. You may be feeling vulnerable with this choice. You're probably going to be like, oh my God, I don't, you might be fearful. Because, you know, you may be fearful of this choice. But I feel like you're going to be very happy with your choice. Okay? Because this is freedom. And it's it's uh, evolution. Okay? And there's a change of residence here. And this is a wholeness. The world is a wholeness. Right next to the sun card. In six front months from now, I, I got nothing more to say. Other than you are going to be a completely different person. And you are going to be in a very happy place very happy this dead end that you have been in will be completely over it will be a thing of the past i think that um somebody has made a, i mean judgment reverse is a bad choice and this is be careful with your choices you don't want to repeat the same mistakes so you're going to be, be, be asked to make a choice to see if you have learned your lesson. Okay? So in six months from now, you will probably have an, you're good, the, the universe, because the, the world is a universe card. So the universe will test you, and they're going to give you an, a choice to make, and you will be tested. Your knowledge, your wisdom will be tested. Okay? In six months. Choose wisely. Do you want something based on looks or do you want something based on happiness okay um there's an opportunity for growth i think that you you're going to be in a state of bliss extreme happiness in six months from now okay one more card 
Three of Cups reversed. So Three of Cups is parting ways with a relationship. So you are going to be parting ways with somebody that betrayed you. <coughs> you are. This is a termination. The party is over. <coughs> the worst is over. And I feel like you are, you know, whoever you were dealing with that was so nasty. I think that those people, and I think it is people, maybe they're walking away or you're walking away from them. Or they're having some sort of downfall or something like that. I don't know if you're dealing with a Leo or a Scorpio or Leo is pretty prominent here. Scorpio is. Um, Leo and Scorpio are pretty prominent here. Um, but we also have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I think you've been through a catastrophe type of situation where you were not aware. It's like you were not aware of who you were dealing with. <coughs> this is lack of awareness. But you gain some sort of wisdom. You gain some sort of awareness through suffering. Okay, Ten of Swords is suffering. And this suffering has taught you some sort of lesson. And in six months from now, because you have learned that lesson, you're going to this, I mean, the sun card is a blessing. It's a reward. It's some sort of happy outcome. Sorry. It's great health. It's a breakthrough. It's a new beginning. I mean, you have new beginning here, new beginning here, new beginning here. You have a new beginning. You may be even getting married or getting engaged or celebrating, you know... A new partnership with somebody. Coming together with a soulmate. This could be some sort of engagement or something. Or meeting somebody at the fair. Or meeting somebody at a party. Or the park. Or a gathering. Or a uh, anniversary party. Or a wedding. Or something like that. Um, six months from now. I feel like you're, the sad state of mind that you be, have been in will be completely over. It's completely done. That cycle of discontent and sadness and loneliness is over. And six months from now, you are going to be in your new life. And you are going to be glowing. And it feels like you are going to be thanking God for whatever they just gave you. Good luck.